we are here launching our motion for a resolution of parliament to remove Honorable Solomon Sirwanyi, Honorable Esther Afoyochan, Honorable Matthias Mpuga, and Honorable Prosi Mbabazi Akampurira from the Office of the Commissioner of Parliament. And the circumstances are well known. Um, we are moving this under Section 5 of the Administration of Parliament Act, CAP 257, and Rule 110 of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament and the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. If you may allow me to briefly go through the, 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 the beef, whereas on Tuesday, 13th July 2021, Honorable Kampurira Prosi, District Woman Representative, Rwanda District, Honorable Sirwanyi Solomon, Member of Parliament for Bukoli County Central, Bujiri District, Honorable Foyo Chan Esther, District Woman Representative, Zombo District, and Honorable Francis Zake, then Member of Parliament for Mitiana Municipality, where in accordance with Section 2 of the Administration of Parliament Act, CAP 257, and Rule 11 of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament, were approved by the House as members of the Parliamentary Commission. Honorable Kampuya Prosi, Honorable Sirwanyi, Honorable Foyochan, um, and Zaki Weya, in accordance with Section 22 of the Administration of Parliament Act and Rule 11 of the Rule of Procedure of Parliament, were to serve a term of two and a half years. Yes. And after which, as you are aware, it is when Honorable Matthias Mpuga was also nominated by his party to serve as a commissioner. Aware that Section 5 of the Administration of Parliament Act and Rule 110 of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament empowers Parliament to remove from Office of Commissioner a member of the Commission other than the Speaker, the Lead of Government Business, Lead of Opposition, or the Minister of Finance before the expiry of their term prescribed in Section 2, bracket 2C, of the Administration of Parliament Act and Rule 11A of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament for incompetence, misconduct, insanity, or inability to perform the functions of his or her office arising from infirmity of body or mind. But for our purpose and motion, we are concentrating on misconduct. Noting that rule, six, rule 85 of the Code of Conduct prescribes in the Appendix F of the Rules of Procedure guide members of Parliament, including members of Parliamentary Commission, on the discharge of their obligations to the House, their constituents, and the public at large, and directs all members of Parliament to conduct themselves in a manner that maintains the strength and dignity, public trust, and confidence in the integrity of Parliament. Concerned that the conduct of the Honorable Members mentioned has fallen below the standard expected of a Member of Parliament and a Commissioner as prescribed in Rule 85 of the Code of Conduct prescribed in Appendix F of the Rules of Procedure when the aforementioned members, one, in contravention of Paragraph 3, A, F, 4, 5, and 7 of the Appendix F of the Rules of Procedure, attended and participated in a meeting of the Parliamentary Commission held on the 6th of May 2022, at which the payment of 400 million Uganda shillings and 500 million to Honorable Matthias Mpuga 
as a service award to each of the above mentioned members of the commission was considered and approved by the commission. B. Participated in the deliberations of the parliamentary commission during the meeting of, of mentioned of which payment of the same amount were given to all of them as service award which it was considered and approved by the commission in contravention of the prohibition against making a decision when a leader has pecuniary interest in a member in a matter as prescribed in section 12a of the leadership of the leadership code act 22002 thereby failing in their duty to uphold the laws of Uganda as required in paragraph 2, 1 of the appendix F of the rules of procedure of parliament. Created, that is another ground, created a service award which is unknown. Okay. Created a service award which is unknown to law and in law, thereby failing in their duty to uphold the laws of Uganda as required in the various paragraphs. This is totally unknown, and as you are aware, this, own, this very parliament, in the 10th parliament, had thoroughly investigated the so-called service award by the leaders of this house by members of parliament. Now, how come that now it was being put back? Golden handshake. And the, by that time it was a golden handshake. You remember the oil debates. But here now they brought it back, which we find very alien and unknown in law. Now, with, now further, they withheld information from members of parliament relating to the decisions taken by parliamentary commission in relation to the payment of the 400 million shillings to the members and 500 to Honorable Mpuga as lead of opposition and the payment of a monthly allowance of 23 million shillings to each parliamentary commissioner contrary to the, du to, to the duty imposed on members of parliamentary commission under paragraph 3D and E and appendix F of the rules of procedure. We say they were never presented to Parliament. Yes. It was kept a secret. It was not known. It was their own deal. And we say this cannot be left unchallenged. Recognizing that the conduct of Honorable Kampuya Prosi, Honorable Sirwani, Solomon, and Honorable Afro Chan, and Honorable Matthias Mpuga, as members of the Parliamentary Commission, affronts the dignity of parliament, it denigrated public trust and confidence in the institution of parliament and has brought the house and its members into serious disrepute, thereby breaching the code of conduct of members of parliament as enumerated in the provisions of parliament. The, the conduct of these members amount to misconduct and misbehavior, thereby making the aforementioned members liable to be removed from the office of the Commission of Parliament yes. in accordance with the rules of procedure of Parliament and the Constitution and the Administration of Parliament Act. Cognizant that the removal of those aforementioned members of Parliament will, will restore the dignity of parliament maintain and strengthen the public trust and confidence in the integrity of parliament. Parliament should be the last institution for the public to lose trust. Yes. Now, therefore, be it resolved in our motion by parliament that in accordance to the rules, the honorable members mentioned, honorable Kampuria Prosi, honorable Sirwani Solomon, honorable Foyochan Prosi, and, and honorable Matthias Mpuga be removed as members of parliament from the office of the commissioner.
for their misbehavior and misconduct. And that is the motion we want to introduce before you. It is competently drafted. We are ready to take the, 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 the step forward. But suffice it to add that this is the time. The room where we, we seated here is a committee room where the Public Accounts Committee examines the books of account, interfaces with the accounting officers, and it is here that accounting officers are being sent to the CID in this very room, the conference hall A. How come that we members of parliament, whose mandate is the oversight function and the representative function, how can we sit by and allow this to go on unchallenged? So here and now, we stand and we call upon all members of parliament. Yes. I know members of parliament were sent on recess, but this is the cause for the country. Duty demands that members of parliament must come back. Cannot keep hiding. We are not interested in other officers, but the commissioners are ours. We must set the example. We must say no to the misconduct, to the diversion of public funds for, for personal aggrandizement. We must say no. And this is the time. This is the time. And with the motion, I now take the first step we shall follow all the due process for us to sign our censor motion. And I hope members, commissioners, it is their time now. They can opt to step down. They can resign. Before the motion, before the motion, is, before the motion catches up with them, yes. if they delay, they are being caught up. And I can assure you, as day follows night, we are not going to fail because the rules are clear. We need only 177 signatures to launch our motion. And we need a half of members. It is too simple. But we call upon members of parliament to, to examine our conscience and see how will the 11th parliament be noted. Yes. How will the 11th parliament go down the history yes. of the annals of the parliament of Uganda? This is only the 11th parliament. And I'm sure members of parliament must take the opportunity. Let's have, for, for these ones, the commissioners are ours. Yes. We backbenchers. We backbenchers. These are ours. Yes. And once they, their performance goes below expectations, we don't have any hesitation but to, call, to recall them. And it's now, more than ever before, that action is taken. And I do that, and I signify that by appending my name and signature on this, on, on this form, which must be signed by members. And we call upon members to find time to have love for the country. Short of this, the country is going to the dogs. You people, we are going to lose the country. We are losing the country. Because if it starts from parliament, the watchdog, the butress of accountability and transparency, if we fail here at parliament, then the country is as good as, as, as gone. As good as gone, I'm telling you. So members, wherever you are, find time to come and stand to be counted. For God and my country. Can you can say something? Yes. You want to say something? And, uh, then yeah. Uh, members, the time you've given us, as you all know, my name is Leoni Odria, MP Aringa South, Yumbe District, West Nile. The time is now. Parliament is the highest institution in this country. We are not, I repeat, we are not going to promote acts of corruption in this parliament of Uganda. Commissioners, our representatives in the commission, the four, Afoyotan, Solomon, Mpuga, and uh, Sirwani. We advise them to resign up to today. 
they have refused to step aside. We are now taking action to impeach them. I call upon my colleagues, members of the 11th Parliament, to join us in this fight against corruption. Let them find time. I'm going to be the first person to second this motion. Together with my colleagues here, I thank you. You want to reverse the something? Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you. I'm a member of parliament for Cassandra North. I really feel bad every time I see Karading as commissioners of parliament when there is darkness around themselves. You cannot appropriate yourselves 500 million. You cannot appropriate yourself 23 million every month for your own benefit. And you do not do nothing about the people you're supposed to represent. The members of parliament have told you the service award was immoral. It was not right. It was against the law. Mr. Mathias Impuga, NUP told you this is immoral. But you continue masquerading as a commissioner. When the party that appointed you told you this is immoral. I am so happy. Now we are going to move together. Yes. Previously it has been a matter of NUP. Now it is going to be a matter of, of all members. We're here. NRM. Here. NRM. AUPC. Independent. Everyone. All of us to show you we are not happy. Because we expected you to do the honorable thing of resigning. Then we would have said that these people are honorables, but you refused to resign. Yes. So now we are mobilizing all members of parliament. Yes. Whoever loves this country, yes. whoever loves this parliament, please append your signature. We push them out because they feel they can't leave those positions because of the, the, the benefits they created there. Mr. Ampuga for failing to remove that, those, I think he looks at the, the 23 million, he looks at the 500 million and say, I can't leave this place. So let us push them, let them go, and we put people there who can know that even commissioners of parliament, they are not there for self-aggrandizement, but they are there to represent us, the members of parliament, but are also the people of Uganda. We cannot claim that we are fighting corruption as a parliament of Uganda when corruption starts here in this house oh. and we do nothing about it. Thank you. Oh. You have saved us. In our areas, they have been attacking us that we, we are all bought because we are saying nothing. But here we are now. Members of the fourth arm, the only institution that can save other institutions in the country is the Parliament of Uganda. And all our efforts must be geared towards saving and putting the image of this institution ahead of others. You look at our new, our, our new chambers they are building. They are all stuck. Now, we appointed the commissioners. They are supposed to push for the construction of the new chambers. But they are there enjoying themselves with money. Mm -hmm. I want to request you, go back to your cameras and open Sewungu's statements on the floor. On several occasions, I was asking the speaker to give us an in-house and we talk about commissioners. And she was promising doing nothing. Because these people became gluttons. They are enjoying food and money the way they want. Sechiku, God will take you to heaven. Yes.
because here we are, any member of parliament, and you are a member of parliament, because this matter is bipartisan. Mm. We want the commissioners out of office. Then we shall follow the man as well. Yeah. Yes. Those are the two things. After leaving office, we shall follow the money. And we have all facts. Some people think we have been quiet for some time. They thought we are stupid. We know what takes place. We have been here at Parliament. We know what was happening with the commissioners, what was taking place through the budget and how money is appropriated. One time we refunded the money, you remember, during COVID. I took back money after buying maize flour. Mm. They said that money was, was evil, the 20 million. Mm. Now, for you, you sit. We returned it. We returned it. Mm. After buying the maize flour in our constituencies. And these members are hiding. They have free vehicles. Yes. They have policemen. Mm. They have fuel. And they are not promoting interests of backbenchers. But they are promoting interests of their stomachs. We shall use the blessed Virgin Mary. We shall look for Saint Peter. Jesus we shall Christ. look for Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this will be out of office. Come what he may. Come what may. And we are going to move sequentially. We are now moving on. The first step has come. We are signing. And a member of parliament hiding away from removing commissioners. I, I want to put this on record. We called some of the ministers in the charge. I did call one of the ministers of finance to tell me, he said he was not in attendance. Had he been there, he wouldn't have allowed that money to go. He wouldn't. These are facts we have. But you pray we shall give you every, every information yep. you want. So, yeah. let me stand up and have the, my pen. I sign because my signing with the standing posture means that I'm moving yes. to all members yes. to sign and take these people out of office. Yes. Because they are everybody is abusing. I have been in the bank today when I was at Kubo. Today, I, I was in the bank. I'm a member of parliament. The, the staff in the bank, I said, Honorable, can you go? And I had voices. People were sitting in line saying, now he's going to pick their 500. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you people, I never got this money. I, I have got money. Can I open my account and you see what is there? No, five. They said, you have a. At least you can't get your money. Because they said so they are taking me on the counter before others. That kind of humiliation, humiliation is too much. We can't, we can't. So let me say. Mm. Yes. No, they can't. They can't survive. So, thank you for having a lot of sense. Your name is My name. Turn it to them. My name is Sewungu Joseph Gonzaga, a member of Parliament, Karun County West. And a member who has been here from the ninth parliament. And I've always fought corruption. I will not allow it. Yes. I want to thank the Honorable Sechikubo for championing this cause. It is our duty and responsibility as members of parliament to restore trust and confidence of the public in the integrity of parliament. As members of parliament, we all took an oath to protect and defend the constitution, but also most importantly, to ensure that whatever we do is in the best interest of the public. It would be wrong for me to sit and keep quiet when a whole center, health center three, is allocated to one individual. The Ministry of Health, using the UPDF Brigade, was building health center threes 
upgrading health center twos to health center threes at a cost of 500 million shillings. I have communities in my district that don't have health center threes. We cannot afford to sit back and the taxpayers are busy struggling to ensure they pay taxes and the taxes from our voters are misappropriated. I cannot sit as a member of the Public Accounts Committee that sits to hold accounting officers accountable. And then when it comes to the institution of parliament, we keep quiet. That would be wrong. I want to call upon all members of parliament. This document will be placed at a table at the front. We shall find somebody to sit there. So I want to call upon every member of parliament who took an oath to protect and defend the constitution and the oath of allegiance to this country, to serve this country, to be counted by appending their signature. I also want to call upon the voters to cross-check whether your members of parliament mm -hmm. have appended their signatures. We shall be publishing this Aye. list. Aye. And Aye. please Aye. see those members Aye. of parliament who are not here to serve you as voters. Yes. May God bless you all. Sign. All I want to say. Lee, extend here. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay.